Okay, hello everyone. I'm Isidore, professor of computer science at City College, and here are students. I'm yeah. Barad. So my name is Alan Kim. I'm Claudio Vito. <laughs> so what do we do? We estimate emotions from facial expressions with application to public speaking. So why this is important? So everyone makes public uh, presentations. However, as we find out, many people are fair to make public presentations for some reason. Okay? So what do we do? What is the big question? How is my presentation? How do I do? That everyone is asking before making a presentation. Yeah, so what people do now, um, so one approach that people do is they talk in front of the mirror. But the issue with this is, can you really trust yourself to criticize yourself? So another approach would be talking to your friends or family. But again, this is, you know, can you really trust your friends and family? Well, maybe, but, <laughs> <laughs> but no, they'll be biased. They'll be biased. Uh, so, so the most modern method is to hire speech coaches. So with speech coaching, um, there are professionals that really help you to try and find imperfections in your speech and try to really um, make your speech really shine. But one of the problems with them is once they analyze your video, they have to do a lot of manual, tedious work to really replay the video over and over again, trying to find any small flaw, and this can be pretty time consuming. So our solution is a platform to help estimate emotional intelligence of the speaker and audience. So what we mean by this is, um, well, I guess for those who don't know what emotional intelligence is, it's the ability to manage your own and others' emotions. So we hope to apply this concept to public speakers with our software by, for one example, will be a video frame analysis. So in your video, we would automatically provide analysis of your emotions and try to track your emotional intelligence. So like, for example, here are some Bollywood actors. Um, during the scenes, we get to see if they're happy or disgusted, and we can also try to find performance analysis about this as well. And even for like audiences to gauge audience reaction, so at like a Bernie Sanders campaign, uh, we can see uh, the general mood of the audience. So um, after the video is analyzed, um, a report is provided to the user. In this report, there is uh, graphical representations of the level of emotion over time. And uh, this can be used to determine the weaker and stronger points uh, of the presentation. Also, another feature is emotion equalization. Uh, this idea is pretty similar to audio equalization. So the user gets a template which serves as an example of uh, what the emotion should be and then works on the parts where there is a big difference between the presenter's um, speech and the template. Through our interviews, we got mostly positive feedback from um, public speaking coaches, and also we got some new ideas of where to apply this platform, such as, for example, in webinars, where the speaker wants to know how the, um, the audience is feeling when uh, he or she is speaking. From our market research, we found out that there is a considerably large um, number of public uh, speaking coaches, classes, and institutions. Also, a very large number of events per month, uh, all of which have as their primary objective the improvement of public speaking skills. And all of them uh, are potential customers for us that can use this uh, platform to facilitate the process. Uh, we are aware that there is a lot of competition out there, but what distinguishes us from them is that uh, we focus mostly on level of uh, emotion and um, training the emotional intelligence. Uh, we would like to finish this presentation by showing you a video of our journey and where we are. Hello, we are Team Elytics, a team of computer science professors and students from the City College of New York. We have developed AI software that recognizes emotions from facial expression. Through our analysis, we provide quantitative data on the emotional evolution of the speaker. Emotion estimation is one important part of emotional intelligence. We aim to help evaluate and manage our own emotions as well as others. Given a video, we upload it to our servers, which we then analyze to construct a report. Over our journey at the Combine, we conducted over 60 interviews in which we made various pivots. Our initial idea was aimed at the general population in the form of an app that provided options to the user to feel better. However, from our customer interviews, we realized that the people did not want to be told what to do. 
Thus, we decided to pursue psychologists as another customer segment. Most of the psychologists we interviewed, however, were not too keen on using computers to analyze patients. After some feedback from the cohort, we chose to explore public speakers and public speaking coaches. We called up several dozen public speaking coaches to see how they felt about our work. From here, we got an overwhelming positive response. We decided on public speaking coaches as our main customer segment. Meet Anna, an undergraduate student at right. City College. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anna. I'm a student. I'm also with the Special Events Program. And every semester, we find fun things for students and faculty. Now, one of the things that we did last year that you guys really liked were VIP paintball tickets. And you guys helped us pick Cousins, number one rated spot in the country for paintball. Once we have the frames, we analyze the emotions using machine learning algorithms. After the analysis is complete, we compile the report and present it to the user. We also include important points of emotion shifts and times to note. Thank you. I would like to thank the combined program, Justin Hendricks, for wonderful work that he is doing, Patish, Satish, Leslie, and Ami. Thank you very much. Okay.